No one made this more clearer than the Apostle Paul when he said, though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of, for necessity is laid upon me. And woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel, for there is a great dispensation of the gospel that has been committed unto me, and that he is to preach the gospel without charge. Because sometime in preaching the gospel, people believe that that's all you're preaching the gospel for, is for what you can get out of it. And they're always associating it with wealth. And that's what many so-called preachers are doing. They're preaching for money, and that's all they preach for is gain. They tell you how to get gain and how to get wealth. But Peter said that all of these kinds of riches, they have caused many scars in the lives of people. People live and have to live with all of these different scars when it comes to being rich. This is the price that you pay. You pay for all of this wealth. Even Jesus says in St. Matthew, the sixth chapter, he talks about don't lay up for yourself treasures upon this earth, wherein rust and dust and malt and everything come in and canker against it and it rusts. He said, but lay for yourself treasures in heaven where no thieves and dust and rust and malt come and destroy. We all must have our treasures in heaven. The Lord said, for where your treasures are, there will your heart be also. This is where the heart of so many people's arm is not with God. It's whatever they are so concerned with and about. We must learn to fear the Lord and learn to serve him. If you're not a Christian, you need to be. You say, what must I do to be saved? You must hear the gospel of God. Paul, he talks also in 1 Corinthians, the ninth chapter. He said that if I don't preach this word, even when I preach it unto others, that I myself can become a castaway. We can preach this gospel to other people and yet lose our own soul at the same time by not living by the standards of God. God, he wants us to commit our souls and our bodies as a living sacrifice unto him. And through that and by that, God is well pleased. So if you're not a Christian, you come to the Lord by hearing his word. Romans 10, 17. So then faith come by hearing. Hearing come by the word of God. We must believe his word, Hebrews 11 and 6. We must repent of our sin, Luke 13, 3 and 5. Confess with our mouth that Jesus Christ is God's son, Matthew 10, 32 and 33. We must be baptized in water to have our sins washed away, Acts 2, 36 to 38 and verse 47. We must be faithful unto death until we die, John 8, 31, 32. Revelation 2 and 10, God, he calls all us unto him. Why don't you come before it is too late? Visit the church of Christ when you can. And when you get there, for God's sake, please ask questions. God bless you and God keep you today. In Jesus' name we pray, we ask it all. Amen.